The Amber Alert, you've heard it. It has helped find hundreds of children over the years, but after 25 years, the case and the child that the alert is named for remains unsolved. On the anniversary of Amber Hagerman's disappearance, police in Arlington announced today that they will try to soon get some new DNA profile of a suspect. Here's Jason Allen. Since the disappearance and death of Amber Hagerman 25 years ago, Police have kept all the evidence, reviewed it, showed it to the FBI, investigated 7,000 tips. But only now is technology and a lab ready to make a new attempt at a DNA profile for a killer. My heart breaks every day for her because I do, do miss her a lot. And I do want justice for Amber. Donna Williams' nine year old daughter was last seen riding her bike on a sunny Saturday afternoon in 1996. A witness in the neighborhood told police he saw a man jump from a black pickup truck and grab her. Police showed new crime scene pictures today of the culvert, more than four miles away, where her body was found four days later. We get tips every month, and now over two years, almost three years that I've had the case, there has not been a single month that we have not gotten some kind of tip come in. Investigators made a plea today for more tips from people who may have seen something in this parking lot all those years ago and never spoken up. Their chance at getting an enhanced DNA profile, though, for a possible suspect may happen as soon as February. A lab has agreed to re-examine evidence using a new approach. Advancements in technology are helping solve cold cases nationwide, including a 46-year-old case last year in Fort Worth. I would love to be able to give Donna and Ricky and the rest of the members of their family the answer to the question that they would like to know. Amber Hagerman's legacy is her name, which through Amber Alerts has helped find hundreds of children, but her family still wants to find what happened to her. Give Amber justice. Amber needs justice, deeply, deeply needs justice. In Arlington, Jason Allen, CBS 11 News.